It takes a lot to decide to be self-employed, to set up a business, to employ people, and to develop a product. It takes guts, knowledge, and hard work. And it takes a special person. Such a person is Mr. Charles Tamaklo, the CEO of CT Ceramics. Today, we begin the series on our unsung heroes. We unveil CT Ceramics. It started off very simply as a small pottery uh, that has now become my home in Adenta. Um, just doing simple tableware, tea set, coffee set, fufus, bowls, a drinking mug, stuff like that. Until, and I was selling very well on the local market. Until in 1993, we got a chance order to export to the US. Now, this was an order that somebody had and didn't like it because he thought the price wasn't good. And um, the agent knew me, so he called me and said, there's a job here, do you want to do it? Um, for me then, it was a test of my ability to do volume work. So I took it up and we did it uh, without making a loss. The next year, there was a repeat order, which was really unexpected. And uh, we asked for an increase in the price, which was granted. And since then, we have not looked back in the export. When the seasons are ripe to set ablaze the fires of our lives, I see my people lifting their lives again. Shine or rain. We have the red clays of which we get this wall tiles. And we also have the white clays that also make porcelain tiles. All we need is the technology and the machinery. And we can do earthenware, we can do stoneware, we can do porcelain, all of which are variations of ceramic ware. And all of that can be done in this country. For us, that is why we went for machinery. Hey, the Golden Coast, Coast. so-called by Europeans, Europeans. on account of its abandoned abandon, and copious yield of gold things and treasures of nature as also of successful minds. When the seasons are ripe to set ablaze the fires of our lives, I see my people the vision, hard work, commitment, and creativity is everywhere apparent. The spirit of industry and comedy exists side by side. Another beginning feature of the city operation is the use of technology, both old and new. Everybody loves Ghana. So many beautiful sights to see. We also use the same local clay to do the water filters. And um, again, this is a very basic thing. Um, the big idea is to set up various production centers all over Africa. Indeed, all the rest of Africa is already doing it. But Afri Ghana is starting it in, 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 in Africa. Um, soon we shall be in Togo. We have indeed exported filters to South Africa and plans are on the way to start uh, manufacturing processes 
uh, all over Africa. This is the city filter. And it com consists very simply of a ceramic filter, which is immersed in colloidal silver, and then a bucket and a tap. And basically that's all we need to manufacture your own clean water in your home. So you get the bucket, you wash it nicely, put a filter holder on top, which is essentially just another lid. You put your filter pot inside it, and then you pour in your salt water, and then close it up. You can drink clean water from your city filtron. And all you need to do is just keep topping up. The city experience is indeed an inspiring one, the stuff of which great nations are made. <laughs>